at the time, uh, I had two state fire marshals uh, uh, at our facility and at the public safety building. And uh, we had been discussing some uh, fire regulations for the city of Aiken. And uh, as they were leaving, I walked outside with them, outside the building. We were standing in front of it. And all of a sudden, there was a loud explosion. We looked up, and we saw an airplane disintegrating over the Montmorency area. And uh, we all three were kind of in shock for a second. So I went back in the building and told the dispatcher to put out that we had a plane that had exploded uh, uh, over the uh, east of Aiken about the Montmorency area when we started down that direction and uh, we got pretty well into the general area and uh, by the time we got there other first responders that was responsible for that area were already en route. I was in the doctor's office in New Ellington that day. I had been involved in an automobile accident the day before and I was in the doctor's office they had already taken one of the rooms, and I was sitting there waiting for the doctor to come in, and I heard a loud boom. Well, of course, being in New Ellington, I thought there had been an explosion out at the Savannah River site. And when I got to Highway 78, as far as I could see, there were cars and vehicles lined up all along the railroad track. And when I got to my crossing of the railroad track, uh, they said that I couldn't cross um, because of a, a plane crash. And so they checked my ID and they let me go across to my house. I'm not sure if it was the next day, but we went out exploring. There's a cotton field behind my mother's house. And we went out exploring to see if we could find anything from the plane crash. And uh, what we found was a parachute. Uh, we found a couple of other little things, and I don't even remember what they were or if we even knew what they were. We were very sad about what happened. That was one of our, our people. And, uh, and uh, it, was, it was a sad thing for us because we realized uh, when that thing exploded in the air, uh, probably were not going to be any survivors.